Hello everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman and thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Today we're going to go a little bit different direction because instead of looking at something budget friendly or high value, today we're looking at something that is really just a bit expensive and quite premium because we're going to be comparing the tethered one stick to the tree sticks. Now, before you get worked up about this, if these are not for you, that's totally okay. I've got a bunch of other videos on my channel for pretty much sticks of every budget, but I also recognize everybody's budget is a little bit different. And so for some of you, you may be looking for a high dollar premium stick. And today I want to give you the information that you need to make an informed buying decision. We're gonna compare weight, size, stackability, attachment method, features, all of it side by side so that you can make a decision about which one is right for you. Before we dive in, I wanna mention that I did buy the tethered one sticks with my own money when they went on sale last year. I was looking for an upgrade that would cut some weight from my system and I decided to splurge a little bit when they went on sale. And then just recently, Jamie from Tree Sticks sent me a four pack of his sticks for the express purpose that I'd be able to make a side by side comparison video of these two sticks. All right, so the first thing that I wanna compare between these two sticks is weight. I'm assuming if you're planning to spend this much money on a premium climbing stick, that you're probably going to do it to cut some weight out of your pack. So let's start with that important number. The tethered one stick, you would assume by the name that it is a one pound stick. However, if you dive into the description on Tethered's website, it calls it a barely one pound stick. On my scales, it weighs 17 ounces right out of the box. That would be one pound, one ounce. Or if you were to purchase a four pack, that would end up being four pounds, four ounces for a four pack of these climbing sticks. On the other hand, Tree Sticks advertises their stick to be under one pound. And surprisingly enough, that's an accurate advertisement. On my scales, it's coming in at 15.5 ounces. Yes, a half an ounce less than one pound. Or you're going to be at three pounds, 14 ounces for a four pack. That's two ounces less than four pounds for an entire four pack. That means there's a six ounce difference right out of the box for a four pack of these sticks. But even those numbers don't really tell the whole story. Now, the tethered one sticks are known for being kind of loud, and I'll mention that more in a moment, but most people are going to recommend, and I would too, that you put stealth strips on your one stick or add foam or something that's going to deaden the sound. I chose to do stealth strips, but unfortunately that took me from 17 ounces per stick up to 18 ounces per stick. So now we're at a two and a half ounce difference per stick. Now the next thing that makes the two weights not a completely fair comparison is that the tree stick has a trick up its sleeve. You pull this little cord off and you pull down on this and it has a built in one step aider. That means that your 15 and a half ounce stick is ready to go right out of the package with an attachment method and with an aider. Now while the tethered one stick does come with a great attachment method out of the box, it does not come with an aider out of the box. And so when I add a single step Amsteel aider, so that it's completely comparable to the tree stick, I add another ounce and I'm up to 19 ounces. So now I have a three and a half ounce difference between the 15 and a half ounce tree stick and my 19 ounce tethered one stick. That's three and a half ounces difference per stick or 14 ounces difference for a four pack. Now, since I already kind of mentioned it earlier, let's go ahead and talk about sound next. The tethered one sticks here are made of titanium. That's how they get their lightweight design. However, out of the box, the tube of titanium kind of sounds like wind chimes if you bump them together, they're very loud. Now, of course, I already have mine stealth stripped, so I can't demonstrate that to you, but I do have a video of when I was getting ready to stealth strip them of the two sticks together from my cell phone. I'll show that to you now. Now, of course, with the stealth strips, it's pretty dead on the post. It's really not bad, but you can probably hear that if I hit the sticks together, it is a pretty loud metal ting. There is a vibration and a resonance to it. Now, as far as the stealth strips go, I do actually really like the way these sticks look and feel with stealth strips. But again, you're adding about an extra ounce per stick to add that on there. Now, on the other hand, the tree sticks are made of carbon fiber. The tube itself is carbon fiber and the steps are carbon fiber reinforced polymer is what I believe I was told. And these have a totally different sound right out of the box. You can hear they make sound. What two objects hitting against each other doesn't make a sound, but it's much more dead. It doesn't resonate. It doesn't vibrate. Let's hit the steps together. The steps I would say are a little bit louder than the tube itself but these definitely are quieter than the tethered one sticks right out of the box. And I would say that these are even quieter out of the box than the tethered one sticks are after they've had stealth strips applied. Next up, let's talk about step spacing and standoff. 
you can see if I hold them about even on the bottom that the tree stick has a slightly taller step-to-step uh, -step distance. It's almost exactly 18 inches while the tethered one stick is about 17 and a quarter. Now, while both of these sticks are really great sticks, if I did have one really major con of the tethered one stick, it is the foot room. See, for the last couple of years, I've been using the tethered skeleton stick, which has a really generous standoff and the angled steps. When I lay this flat on a table and measure to the highest point here, I get about five inches of total foot room, and because it's angled, it feels really, really good. It feels like you've got a ton of foot room. When I got the tethered one sticks, I discovered that it only has about three and a half inches. That's an inch and a half less of foot room. And I'm gonna be honest, it is noticeable when you're climbing. Now to compare the tethered one and the tree sticks, again, the tethered one stick has three and a half inches of foot room or three and a half inches from the back of the standoff to the front of the step. And the tree stick has four and a quarter. So while it doesn't quite feel as generous as the tethered skeleton stick, for an ultra lightweight stick that is under one pound, it still gives you more foot room than the tethered one stick. Next up, let's talk about the attachment method for both of these sticks, starting with the tethered one stick. Okay, so with the tethered one stick, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your line, your Amsteel line around the back side of the tree. Try not to pick a tree that has a thorn bush on the back side. You're gonna come around and you're gonna come around the bottom side of this tab right here, and you're gonna come all the way around for 360 degrees, and then you're gonna come up through the hook, cross into that hook, down into that hook, up and down. And when you're all done, you should have an X pattern. I like to just tuck my line in behind the bottom sand off and then set my stick. Let's do that again a little bit quicker. You grab it, come around 360 degrees, down, up, down, up, and there it is. Now the tree sticks also have a simple and clever attachment method here. It simply uses a piece of eighth inch am steel. Now when you first get your tree sticks, I would recommend that you refer to the owner's manual to make sure that you get this procedure correct, but I am going to show it to you here as well. And there's a procedure that you need to follow. And the way that I remember it is that you're gonna go under, 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 and then over. That's three unders and an over. And you'll see what I mean here. So I'm gonna come around the tree and I'm gonna go under the button. That's my first under. And then I'm gonna go under the rope. And then I need to pass it through, obviously, and come out the top side. But I just use the under to remind myself that I'm gonna start on the bottom side. Now I'm gonna pull that tight and I'm gonna come under the button again. So that's my three unders, under the button, under the rope, under the button. And then the other side is gonna be over the rope. So you have the under, 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 and then over, and then you can set your tree stick. So let me show you that one more time and see if I can't do it just a little bit faster. All right, so got our line around the tree and we're gonna come under, under, under the button, and then over the rope and cinch it down. Now there is one interesting thing to note here, and I'm gonna to try to take this off and show you if I try to pinch my line right there and try not to lose that spot, it's pretty hard to do. And I'm gonna come around the other side, I'm gonna to try to pinch that spot. What you're gonna notice is that it only takes about an inch and a half to maybe two inches at the most to make this connection to the tree. Now that may not matter to a lot of you, but if you do hunt larger diameter trees where maybe you're starting to run out of enough attachment line to attach your tree, then having this short amount of line needed to use your attachment method could be a benefit. I did notice that the tethered one stick uses about seven and a half to eight inches to make the connection by the time you do the 360 and the X pattern. But what about packing up that attachment method? Well, on the tethered one stick, they give you this tab down here, and then you use the tab that is your attachment method, the Dynalock tab, and you just wrap around those two tabs about three times. There's two, there's three. When you come back up around, you can just sort of wrap up around your attachment tab, and there it is. One thing I do like about this is it's very slim and very neat. Now the tree sticks do work a little bit differently because they wrap around the standoff. And the thing that you need to remember is that you need to go to the top standoff first. If you go to the bottom first, it's not gonna work out right with the right amount of length to get the little elastic at the end to reach where it needs to go. So you're gonna go up to the top standoff and there's a little groove there and go down to the bottom standoff, there's a little groove. And then you're just gonna go right next to that. And the thing you wanna be careful of is that it doesn't cross over because if it does, it will mess up with your stacking in a minute. When you go around twice, then you're gonna see you've got this elastic rubber band type thing here at the top, and it just goes up there like that. Again, if you start with the bottom first, it's not gonna reach back to the bottom at the end to put the uh, rubber band on. So you wanna go top first, and a nice clean attachment method. The only thing I don't like about this is it is just hanging out there a little bit, as opposed to the one stick that's right nice and neat along the post. Now that we got our attachment method put away, let's talk about how these sticks stack. The tethered one sticks use these four pins. There's two at the bottom, they're a little bit longer, and two at the top, they're a little bit shorter. And what you gotta do is you gotta line up the longer, short, uh, longer ones on the bottom first, get them in their holes, and then line up the top and squeeze it down in. 
not too bad and once they're together they are really secure now i have used these on this system at least on the tethered skeleton sticks for the last couple of years and i can tell you it's a good system it holds together well they're very secure but there are times especially in the dark when you're in a hurry when you want to get home that trying to line up all four of those pins at the same time can end up being a little bit of a nuisance i can also tell you them in a few times on the tethered skeleton sticks that they stuck together a little bit well a little bit too well and when they come apart, I end up scuffing up my fingers, scratching my fingers. But overall, it's a lot better than many of the systems on the market. It's not bad. I mean, right there, you can see I put it together pretty quickly. And again, it holds together very secure. Next up, the tree sticks. Their stacking system is incredibly unique and incredibly fast. Done. Really, really easy, really, really fast. Now you probably heard that it was a little bit loud because all of that it is is just a clip on the back side of the, of the post here and it clips into the, the button or the attachment method on the front side. So all you do is you put it in and you squeeze and it snaps into place. However, it is loud, but if you put it together a little bit more gently, a little bit more slowly, maybe put your hand on the tab, it's together now and that was almost completely silent. Now you will notice if you shake it, it does have a little bit of rattle, but I feel they feel very secure. I don't feel like they're going anywhere. Unless you're running around in the woods shaking them, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Now, another interesting thing about the tree sticks is that they stack completely vertically. They don't grow longer as you stack them together because they stack completely on top and in line with each other. Something that you're not going to see on the tethered one sticks where you can see they kind of stack and they move this way as they're stacking. Is it a big deal? No, not really, just something to point out. You're gonna notice a little bit difference in size. This is a three pack and a three pack. You're gonna notice a little difference in size, a little difference in streamlineness maybe, but both of them stack together really, really nicely. Next up, I wanna talk about Aider and Aider options. The tree sticks come with a built-in Aider. You can probably see it down here and you might be wondering what's going on. Well, you release this little rubber band up here around the standoff you release this cord and you pull down on the aider and suddenly you've got a single step built-in aider. That's really cool. I mean, easy to deploy. It's really easy to put away. And I think it's really, really cool. I mean, every stick that I've ever had that had aiders, aider management, trying to keep them clean, trying to put them away, trying to keep them wrapped up neatly was sometimes just almost always a really big pain. Now, I think this is really cool, and if you want a single step aider, then this is awesome. I think the downside of it is that if you don't want a single step aider, maybe you want a double step or a triple step, something like that, then you're gonna have to do some uh, adding on of aiders to that, and I think you kind of lose the cool factor that this is a ready to go out of the box stick with built-in aiders. However, that being said, I've got a double step aider here, and it's got these little loops on the end, and it actually would fit really nicely right over the end of those steps. And there we go. So if you wanted to have a two-step aider, uh, now you have a two-step aider right on that stick and it would definitely work just fine. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, two-step aider. Again, no big deal, but I feel like that's the limitation of this is that you're paying to get the built-in aider, but if you don't want a single-step aider, then you might be paying for something that you're not going to use down the road. On the other hand, while having a built-in aider in the tree stick is really cool, Having no aider on the tethered one stick means that you have lots of options and you can use any kind of aider you want. Again, I showed you the single step aider earlier. I built these double step aiders that I just showed you just for these tethered one sticks. I've got three of them, one for each of my three pack of tethered one sticks. You could use webbing aiders, you can use Amsteel aiders. Very versatile system because it doesn't come with it and so you're a little bit more free to use whatever you want. Now one of the things that Tree Sticks advertises is that you can get higher with their stick over the competitor stick. and I think that's kind of true because out of the box it comes with a built-in aider and something like the tethered one stick does not come with a built-in aider out of the box. So if you use these sticks as they come out of the box, then yes, most definitely you're gonna get higher with the tree stick for the same number of sticks as other sticks on the market that don't come with an aider. On the other hand, as a mobile hunter, I think most of us probably are going to use some kind of an aider if we're gonna buy tethered one sticks. And so I just wanna give you a comparison of that point. Recently, I climbed with four of these sticks using the aiders, and I tried to keep a step spacing of about 18 inches to 20 inches between uh, the top of my stick and the bottom of the next aider. And I got to almost exactly 18 feet with the entire four pack of these tree sticks. On the other hand, I've got a three pack of tethered one sticks, and I put double step aiders on them. And the reality is that I got 18 and a half feet with three of these sticks and a double step aider. 
So what I mean by that is really what aider you use is going to play the biggest factor in how high you're going to get in the tree. Now something interesting to point out here is that that begins to take the, the weight conversation between these two sticks in a different direction. With a double step aider on the tethered one stick, I end up at about 20 ounces per stick or 60 ounces total. That's only two ounces less than a four pack of these sticks. But what's really interesting is that a three pack here with a double step aider weighs almost the same as a four pack with a single step aider and I'm getting to almost the same height. So then the conversation becomes, uh, you know, are you wanting to carry one less stick and deal with the double step aider that's a little more difficult to climb? Or do you want to carry an extra stick and use single step aiders? Or maybe you want to put a double step aider on these and save yourself even more weight to get to the same height. Now before we get into the final category of price, there is a unique feature in each of these sets of sticks that I want to point out. On the tree sticks, when you stack them all up together, you're going to see this continuous loop on one of them and you want to make sure that's on the top. But what this is used for is to carry your sticks up the tree. If you had a Kydex hook on your Molly, you could hook into there, you could use a carabiner, there's a number of different ways that you could do this, but this is meant to carry them up. And because they're fairly light, you could carry all of the sticks on one side of your system. And then of course they pop out pretty easily, so if you're carrying them up the tree, you just pop one off and mount that one to the tree. Now it is interesting to me that these sticks are really just geared toward being ready to go right out of the box. The fact that he even included this little hook right here, this little loop, is really interesting to me. Now I did have a conversation with Jamie at Tree Sticks recently and I asked him if he would consider adding in some sort of a Kydex Molly hook that would be ready to go because that way it'd be an absolute complete ready to go package right out of the box. He said he had some ideas but he hadn't released anything just yet. Now the unique feature that I want to point out on the tethered one sticks is that they have these glow in the dark tabs right here on each side of each step top and bottom. What I'm not so excited about is that I haven't had these sticks that long or used them that hard and I'm already missing three of those tabs out of 12 that would be on a pack of sticks. And so I'm a little disappointed in that but overall the glow in the dark tabs are a very unique and fun feature. All right, so there's a lot of information that I've given you in this video, but what I haven't given you yet is the price, and I know some of you are dying to know, so I'll go ahead and give it to you now. A tethered one stick is gonna cost you about $140 for an individual stick, while an individual tree sticks is gonna cost you about $190. A four pack of tethered one sticks is gonna cost you $460, while a four pack of tree sticks is going to cost you $625. Yes, you heard that right, $625 for these ultralight carbon fiber sticks. Of course, both these sticks are available as a three pack for a little bit less money than a four pack. So at first glance, 625 seems like a lot more money than 460 for a four pack of these sticks. And you are right, it's $165 difference. But then I got thinking, if you buy the tethered one sticks, you're probably going to want to put stealth strips on them. And that's gonna cost you about $25 for the four pack. And then this stick has an aider, but this doesn't. Well, if you wanna just put a single step aider on it, just like this one to match, you would end up spending about $15 per stick or $60 for the four pack to put aiders on your tethered one sticks. So between the 60 for the aiders and the 25 for the stealth strips, you're gonna end up being about $85 more or you're gonna spend $85 more than just the original purchase price of this stick. Now, when you add that all up, you're now within about $80 price difference between a four pack of the tree sticks and a four pack of the tethered one sticks. So you let me know, what do you think? Is an extra $80 worth it for a carbon fiber sub one pound stick that has a built in aider with great retraction and storage method, with a great attachment to the tree method, which with a great clip to attach to each other, also with a more generous foot room, or would you save a little bit of money, sacrifice a little bit of weight, and go with a tried and true tethered one stick that's been in the woods and proven over the last couple of years. Let me know which one do you think you would choose, which one would you spend your hard earned dollars on, and which one do you think you're gonna take into the hunting woods this year? Let me know down in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you'd consider giving me a thumbs up. Until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.